Welcome to Heartfelt Beer Reviews for yet another review. My name is Kyle Hart and today we're going to be reviewing New Holland Brewing Companies out of New Holland, Michigan's Dragon's Milk Reserve brewed with raspberry hibiscus. This is a relatively new release. I believe it came out last month. It's a bottled on March the 20th, 2019. So this is basically brand new. This is the first time I've seen it. Picked it up at my local Total Wine. Comes in at 11% alcohol by volume. And it says on the bottle, it says, Dragon's Milk Reserve with Raspberry and Hibiscus. Roasted, malty, and smooth. Proudly brewed in New Holland, Michigan. I'm going to go ahead and crack the bottle open, give you pour, tell the aroma, and taste. Well, I might have the wrong bottle opener on here. I do. Sorry about that. Go ahead and get this open. There you go. Sorry about that. From the old oh man. Wow. Even from here, the the ras it smells like raspberry sorbet. Man, that is a strong raspberry flavor. Chocolate. Just straight out of the bottle once I've opened them in. It's that strong. That's insane. I'm gonna give you a nice hard pour to see if I can how much head I can get on this. Not much of a head, maybe half a finger. It's worth a head here. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay, it poured rather thin, which is uh a trait the dragon smoke usually has, but it doesn't, you know, doesn't really affect the flavor. The mouthfeel sometimes tends to be thin, but uh, I do like my stout a little bit more uh, motor oily, but that doesn't really affect the quality of the beer, in my opinion, unless it's too thin. But I'll give you the aroma and taste, and tell you what I think. Cheers. Oh wow, this doesn't even smell like just rat. I mean, this smells like raspberry juice sorbet. That's incredible. Vanilla, chocolate, chocolate, chocolate. Just straightforward milk chocolate, raspberry sorbet, vanilla bean. You can really, really get the wrong one. It says it's brewed with hibiscus. I mean, I can't really tell you if I've had any beer that's been brewed with hibiscus. I mean, uh, as much as I can expect is maybe more floral character, which I'm not really getting. This beer did set out for about 15 minutes before I poured it to warm up a little bit. I don't know if it's because it's too cold or really what to expect with hibiscus. I'm not getting any floral characteristics. I mean, that smells like raspberry chocolate ice cream completely. You can smell the oak. You can smell the barrel. Because this is bourbon barrel aged, by the way. Uh... I can't remember if I mentioned that or not. This is just, this smells incredible. So, like I said, on the nose, you get raspberry sorbet, vanilla vanilla bean distinctive. Chocolate, 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 but it's not a dark chocolate. It's definitely a milk chocolate, but it, it's, it's definitely up front. And you get a, a subtle oak character, and you get a, a subtle a bourbon character. You know, it's not overpowering. You know, this is not a 14, 15% beer. So the alcohol is not in your face. You can't really, you can't smell the ethanol in this beer, which is good. Very well rounded. It is very dark, very opaque. You know, hold up to the light here and I can't see a thing through it. So, and the head is completely dissipated. And it does look a bit thin, but like I said, that. Hopefully it doesn't impact the really the overall flavor of the beer, just the mouthfeel. But cheers. Wow. That mouth Whoa. That mouthfeel. Or sorry, flavor profile is ridiculous. That is completely, completely not what I expected. Okay, first off, up front, you get the roasted malts from the Imperial Stout. You get the subtle oak character, and you get the bourbon, and you get the vanilla bean. 
but then you get a raspberry short bay ice cream just explosion and then right in the middle when you think that that's all you're gonna get boom with a floral hibiscus bomb I mean absolutely and it, it's not like anything's overpowering because I can distinctively pick out every other flavor in this beer <coughs> I taste the chocolate I taste the hibiscus, I taste the raspberry, I taste the vanilla bean, I taste the oak, I taste the bourbon. I mean, this is insane. I didn't expect this from this beer. I expected this to be basically just raspberry. I didn't expect much from the hibiscus, but boy, I, I was totally wrong. This, I mean, I'm, I'm really at loss here because this is completely a flavor explosion. Let's try it again here. Wow. That's incredible. I mean, this beer, it's very strong with its flavor. I mean, it, it hits you with the flavor that it presents, but it's so well-rounded because you can taste everything. This is so good. This is, I wouldn't really say classify as Dragon Smoke to be a dessert stout, but this definitely, I think, would classify as that because it's so sweet. First thing you get, you get the vanilla bean and the raspberry. The raspberry sorbet just combine. I mean that vanilla bean gives it the lush creamy mouthfeel and just a little bit of vanilla taste to round out the bitterness of the roasted malt. And then you get just and it's not just like a ras a fresh raspberries or raspberry juice. I mean it's like raspberry sorbet ice cream because it's just out of this world good. Then you get the oak and the bourbon come together very nice it's su it's there but it's subtle then you get a, a, a pronounced milk chocolate and then right in the middle as all those flavors combined you get a very high profile floral hibiscus flavor kind of uh it's kind of uh i wouldn't bittersweet kind of like a uh I really wouldn't say toffee, but uh, it kind of has a it kind of has a tartness to it as well, which I didn't expect as, as it's slowly warming, and I'm becoming more acclimated on my palate. You get a distinctive tartness in the middle, and I wouldn't say it's not sour, but it's got a little bit of subtle tart to it. I'm gonna give you one more, one more aroma, and taste. Cheers. I mean. As it opens up, I mean, you're getting milk chocolate covered raspberry, like with vanilla bean flakes that just made into a sorbet. I mean, then you can smell the oak distinctively. This beer is incredible. I mean, this is one of the best dragon smokes I've ever had in my life. Wow. And this goes down like water. You get no, and I mean no, ethanol presence with this whatsoever. You expect to get a little bit because it is 11% alcohol by volume, but you just don't. You get raspberry sorbet, as I can't stress that enough. I mean, distinctive raspberry sorbet. Oak, bourbon, Van uh, luscious, smooth, creamy vanilla bean that, that really brings the uh, mouth feel together in the body of this beer as well as the flavor just combines with that and you get the milk chocolate and then you get a uh, then that just rounds together with the floral hibiscus bomb and that hibiscus floral character just comes in right in from left field and just smashes it all together and then after you finish the beer, when you when you swallow it, you get the the roasted malt character, of course, that is indicative of the style. And then you get kind of a uh, caramel sweetness to it, just a, just a little bit, not enough to really throw off or give it an aftertaste, just enough to just to give it like a kiss of caramel on the back end. So I mean, I I recommend this beer highly. You know, I like to recommend most beers, whether I prefer them or not, because I want the audience that's watching to really adjust to their own personal preference you know because as 
we know taste is subjective and I can't tell you what's good and what's bad. And at the end of the day, if you're drinking a beer that you enjoy, then ultimately you're drinking good beer. But even for people who don't like stouts, they think that they're maybe turned off to dark beer. This is something I would say maybe even women would enjoy because this is sweet. It's not bitter. It's not too roasted. It's not malty. To to an extent that would be a turn off for uh, most people that are uh, unaware or unfamiliar with the style, and I think this would be a wonderful first stout to have, even though it's barrel age, which you really wouldn't technically give someone that has never had a stout a barrel aged stout to begin with. These flavors are just so well rounded and so bright and so surprising. I mean, I didn't expect this, and I know what to expect with most of these beers, but. Again, I mean, the aroma, even still from here, 10 minutes after opening, I get, being this far away, I get raspberry, chocolate, vanilla, and oak, and just straight up, and that brings you in, that makes you, because you don't smell the, the floral hibiscus from here, but then when you come in, when you get invited in for the flavor profile, you just distinctly get raspberry sorbet, oak, vanilla, bourbon vanilla creaminess, it just really, really, really brings the spirit together. And the mouthfeel is not as thin as I expected because of those flavors are so varied and so wide. Then that floral hibiscus comes in and just smashes it. It just home runs it. If you didn't think you were going to hit a home run, you've got a grand slam now. Because it absolutely just shocks you. Because you have to taste this to believe me. You know, my words can't do it justice. This beer is really just out of the park good for uh at first glance when i first saw this beer i didn't expect much from it so you can say that normally i'm not a man that gets surprised very often but this beer absolutely just blew my mind so again this has been uh new holland brewing company's dragon's milk reserve brewed with raspberry and hibiscus aged in bourbon barrels thank you very much and i hope you enjoyed my review